Hey, what's going on guys? It's B. Avery here again for another trailer reaction. This one is for all the money in the world uh, from Sony Pictures. It is a film directed by Ridley Scott and it stars, what is his name? Kevin Spacey and Mark Wahlberg. Didn't know about this movie, don't know what it's about. I did read a brief synopsis before I hit record, but anyway, let's see what it is about. Let me go ahead and put on these headphones and you guys can stop listening to me talk, but watch me. Watch the trailer. Here we go. Looks intense. To be a Getty is an extraordinary thing. What's your name? My grandfather wasn't just the richest man in the world. Who's your daddy? He was the richest man in the history of the world. Rich like me. Really? We look like you, but we're not like you. As we take us anytime. It's like we're from another planet, where the force of gravity is so strong, it bends the light. It bends people, too. Mr. Getty, your grandson. Miss Getty, we have your son. Is this some kind of joke? Seventeen million dollars. So I don't have any money. Get it from your father-in-law. He has all the money in the world. Hmm. What you need to live. And Mr. Getty is unavailable. I'm sorry, Miss Getty. I work for Mr. Getty. I'm gonna help you find your son. I'm not a real Getty. I just married one. I'm fighting an empire. We need to pay the ransom. They will do things to Paul that cannot be undone for any amount of money. No! I ask as a mother to set my boy free. We have to show we're willing to walk away. I can't walk away. Don't you know? Mr. Getty, how much would you pay to release your grandson if not $17 million? Nothing. It's the time of the season for love. Damn. So to be honest with you, I wasn't really feeling that trailer up until the very end where they showed Kevin Spacey as Mr. Getty because his makeup was just top notch phenomenal. He just seemed like a cold hearted person that just didn't give a crap about his money. Now, of course, I don't know the story and I don't know uh, the research here behind all of this and who Mr. Getty is. And it does raise a question, which I'm going to tell you in just a second. But uh, it just seems like he cares about nothing but his money. But like I said, I don't know the story. So maybe he could have a valid reason for not wanting to pay any money to get his grandson back. I don't know who took the grandson or whatever. I'm not necessarily understanding the trailer and as far as who is what role, because as Michelle Williams, this, uh, the white lady right here, says that she's not a real Getty. She was married into one. And it seems like she just well in over her head. Like she just, you know, hey, you know, I found a guy that I was in love with, married him. And I didn't know it came along with all this baggage. And, you know, she's dealing with it. So that does seem pretty interesting. Um, is this a true story? A left wing paramilitary organization in Italy hatches a massive kidnapping plot in the 1970s. So. I don't know if anything popped up right there saying that this is based on a true story. I'm, I'm not trying to sound ignorant either. I just don't know. Um, this is directed by Ridley Scott. You know, he did Alien. Um, he did. Uh, no, no, not Noah. Um, that was uh, Darren Aronofsky. I can't, he did Robin Hood. He did The Martian. Uh, he did. Uh, why am I forgetting all the movies he's done? Let me look that up real quick while I have the Internet. This is a long uh, filmography. I'm not trying to see the producers. Man, he's a... How many producer credits do you have, really? Uh, a lot. Uh, 125 producer credits. My goodness gracious, but... 
Uh, what all has written? Uh, he got forty-one director credits. Um, Alien Covenant, The Martian, Exodus, Gods of Kings was trash. The Counselor, Prometheus, Robin Hood, like I said, Body of Lies, which I didn't like. Ga uh, American Gangster, which I loved. Kingdom of Heaven, I've seen the theatrical version, but not seen the extended cut. And the only reason I said it because everyone says the theatrical version is unwatchable, but the director's cut is a masterpiece. Uh, G.I. Jane, Gladiator, of course, I can't believe, you know, so everybody knows who really Scott is, the Blade Runner, um, you know, I love Kevin Spacey, I love um, Mark Wahlberg, but they, who, let me, let me get up Kevin Spacey's written, okay, John Paul Getty, I'm gonna do a quick little Google search, because they said that, um, it may be true that he was the richest man in the world at the 70s, in the 70s, but as far as worldwide, I mean, in all of history, to my, let me know all the historians in, in the comments section, but to my knowledge, the great, the richest person in all of history was Mansa Musa, an African king that had like four to five trillion dollars. I mean, they said that his uh, wealth was so crazy that you couldn't even count it. Like, it, it blew everybody else away or something like that. Um and he actually crashed the economy back in like the 13 or 1400s in Africa because he was giving away so much gold and trying to be nice. But it, I think I thought it was Mansa Musa, but hey, you know, um, this is Hollywood. And, you know, they, they a lot of times they don't like to give uh, credit where credit is due. But John Paul Getty, 1892 to 1976, was an American industrialist. He founded the Getty Oil Company in 1957 named the richest living man in America while the 1966 Guinea Book of World Records named him the world's richest private citizen worth 1.2 billion uh, that's approximately 8.9 billion today okay uh, that's a lot of money but still nowhere near um, I mean, you got people right now worth 50 billion like how much you know Mark not Mark not uh, Mark Zuckerberg Facebook he worth like 33 billion uh I think Bill Gates is worth like 70 or 80 billion right now. I think, uh, what is that dude's name? He reads like 500 pages every day. Like he, he's, I cannot believe I'm forgetting. Is oh God, what is his name? Not Bill Gates. It's the other guy. Um, uh, I can't believe I, I can't remember, but I'm trying to see the trust in the world's wealthiest art institution. Wait, yeah, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and do no history lesson, but um, I don't know if, you know, he probably was the richest back then in the world. Yeah, but in, in, in all time, I don't know about that, you know, because that, that's Mansa Musa. And um, I think even um, I, I don't know, uh, I'm not going to do a whole history lesson, but the uh, movie does look pretty entertaining, um, mostly because of Kevin Spacey, and like I said, I wasn't really caring to see it until he popped up in the end, but you know, this comes out December 8th of two th December 8th 2017, later this year, so we're just gonna have to see but guys, that is just my opinion of the trailer, that is just my reaction what did you think of the trailer? Did you like it? Did it turn you on? Did it turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below, let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up if you don't like the video that's fine just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up since you're watching this on youtube go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel to get all the content that i have to provide you can also click the bell so you can be notified and also um you know look me up on social media and go to my website check me out there bookmark it i do have written reviews and i made everything easy for you because i do have links to all of that in the description um, down below um, but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction for the trailer for all the money in the world by sony picture star mark Wahlberg and kevin spacey and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace